What is up, YouTube? Venthros here, coming at you. And I have a really quick tutorial to go over with you guys. Uh, I got a request from YouTuber called Jalen Darilo. Hopefully, I said that correctly. If I did not, I do apologize. And what Jalen asked is a, an overview on lighting. Now, before I do anything or say anything else about this specific tutorial, I want to point out that most people that are into RPG Maker to do it maybe professionally or the people that have been doing it for a long time they will nine times out of ten get a lighting script that helps them with these okay and lighting scripts are usually written by other people and most people import them in uh, it makes professional looking lighting a little easier uh, gives you a lot of options and those options I think are a little complicated for the average RPG Maker user. So I wanted to come up with a tutorial that goes over how to do these lighting type effects but with uh, no scripts whatsoever. Okay, just just basic event, uh, basic eventing. Alright, so what I have here is I have a couple things. Um, I have a fireplace here and I've actually already created a lighting event all right, and then we're going to do this one over here by uh, from scratch. But in order to do this light lighting effect, uh, we're going to have to import some graphics. Now, if you were with me for my import importing music tutorial, uh, you've already been somewhat introduced to the resource manager, but we'll go over it again. So go up here, click on the resource manager, or hit F10. And you want to make sure that the graphics slash characters folder is highlighted like it is here. All right, and that's where you'll see most of the graphics for the game. You'll see most of them here. And you can see this one here is red, which means that it is it has been imported by the user. And what I did, well first of all, I am providing this image and I'll show it to you now. I'm providing this in uh, the description below. Go ahead and click it, download it, and save it to your computer somewhere where you know where it is. Alright, so with this folder highlighted, all you have to do, click on import, and go to wherever the picture is, and import it. Very easy. And now that graphic is available to use. Alright, so what we're going to do is, for this one, I'm going to change this graphic. This one is really bright. And then I have one that's kind of toned down. You know what? I think I'll leave this one. And we'll use the toned down graphic here. Alright, so this is how you do it. So first, make whatever object that you want to emanate the light. In this case, I'm using a blue crystal. Over here, we're using a fireplace. Use whatever you want. And then directly underneath that, you want to create a new event. And you want to use a graphic. So go to your, your imported graphic should be at the top. And for the crystal, we're going to use this subdued blue, this kind of lighter blue, not this darker one up here. All right. Now we're going to disable the walking animation and then enable all three of these. Okay. The stepping animation, we've used that before. Direction fix is pretty self-explanatory. The through makes it so that the character can pass through the lighting effect. All right, we're also going to set the priority to above characters. So this guarantees that wood player is always going to be able to walk through it. All right. Now, we are going to mess with this autonomous movement thing. Okay, the type is going to be custom. Leave, the, leave this the way it is. And we'll set a move route. Now the move route that we're going to set, we're actually only doing two things. The first is we're going to uncheck the repeat action. And then we're going to go over here to change blending. Okay, this changes how the effect blends with the character sprite on the screen. Alright, so we just want to add. So this makes it so that the character sprite changes when it passes through the light. All right, and that is it for that. All right, so let's hit OK. 
And I'll show you what they look like now. Um, we have not... Let me turn that down. I knew that was going to happen. Sorry about that. Now we have not done anything with the screen yet. So we can see that this is really, really bright. You can't even... But you can barely see the fire underneath that. And this is a pretty subdued kind of light. And what is going to make these really make sense is if we do a parallel process event that changes the tint of the screen. So we'll go ahead and do that. So just somewhere off away from where the character can move to. We're not going to have any graphics or anything. Just make sure that this is a parallel process. Very important. Double click there. Go to page two and we're going to go to tint screen under the screen effects. Don't get it confused with the tint picture. All right? We're not doing that. Tint screen. Now there are a few uh, there are a few presets here that you can use. All right, and they just change, uh, you know, depending on what which one you pick. Now we're going to use dark, okay? Because night kind of adds a lot of blue, and that's good. Uh, but I really want to get across how the lighting effects actually look on, in dark conditions. So make sure the time is one frame so that as soon as the screen comes up, it is dark. Next, what we want to do is we want to erase the event and hit OK. Now, let's go ahead and see what this looks like now. Now you can see it's a little darker than it was. It actually wasn't as dark as I had thought it would be. All right, but you can see that the sprite looks different in the light than it does outside of the light. And that's what the blending does. So let's go ahead and make it a little darker. Just click up here, hit the space bar to edit it, and we're going to turn this down to 170 for each of these. It's going to be really dark. Well, maybe not totally dark, but it'll be much darker than it was. So now you can see that the screen is very dark and the light is emanating. And I actually think that this lighting looks a lot better. That uh, I, I, I think that it's better to use the subdued lighting but it, it's up to you um, and I'll show you one more thing I'll show you the nighttime thing like I said it, it kinda pumps up the blues a little bit kinda showing kinda mimicking a, like a moonlight so there you go so that's the gist of lighting and this is a very basic uh, tutorial and like I said, the, the 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 people who do this professionally or or the you know the people with a lot of experience. Let's let's stick with that. The people with tons of experience, RPG Maker, nine out of ten of them will tell you to get a lighting script. And there are tons of them out there. If you want to Google it and research it for yourself, I I fully encourage you to do so. But I wanted to put up a basic video with no scripts whatsoever just with a couple of events to kind of give you an idea how you can manipulate things all right so that was just a real quick tutorial i want to thank jalen again for the suggestion and keep the suggestions coming in and i'll get videos up as fast as i can and i'll see you next time thanks for the support like comment subscribe look for the next tutorial coming soon thank you